Around December of 1964, Ford was thinking about a new purpose-built factory drag car based on the new 1966 Fairlane chassis. They contacted racers and dealers to gauge interest and were encouraged by the excitement over the possibility. Ford executives were also surprised that nearly two-thirds of the people who were interested in the car wanted an automatic transmission. In the end, all 427 Fairlanes were four-speed cars. The brass at Ford decided to move forward with the project, so build plans were put in motion to develop the car. The new 1966 Fairlane chassis would be paired with the 427 medium riser engine, but changes would need to be made to make it all work. This is the preliminary build plan with the necessary changes needed to make it happen. Through the development of the 1966 427 Fairlane, it was found that many of the parts from the 390 Fairlane program could be utilized for the 427 program, but still special parts needed to be made, such as exhaust manifolds and a new 9-inch rear end center section to handle the increased power from the 427 engine. The 1966 427 Fairlane program managers requested five cars to be shipped to them to do development work on from drag testing to street durability testing. In December of 1965, one car was used to test brake and suspension components that would be used on the 427 equipped cars. It was driven 2,000 miles from Detroit, Michigan to Topeka, Kansas and back again and was deemed successful. From that point, a decision was made to work on costs and parts availability for a production run of 50 cars. As of March 2, 1966, each car was projected to have an estimated cost of $2,030.61. Concerns were already present about the ability to provide all the unique parts for the program and still keep up with regular production demands. But at the end of March, a letter was sent to all Ford dealers about the availability of the new 427 Fairlane drag car. By April 20, 1966, the demand for the 427 Fairlane was so great that Vern Tinsler of Stock Vehicles Department asked for an increase in production from 50 cars to 70 cars. In May of 1966, the Atlanta assembly plant received the go-ahead and the final build plans to build 70 new 1966 427 Fairlane drag cars. This is where confusion sets in. Ford was supposed to have made 70, but there ended up being only 57. What happened? I don't know that. I don't know that. It was said that the train carrying the cars from Atlanta to the dealerships derailed and crashed and 13 cars were destroyed, then buried alongside the tracks. That just isn't true. No one train would be carrying that many of the 427 Fairlanes for two reasons. First, the ordering dealerships were too widespread across the country for one train to be able to transport them. Second, it took over two months to produce all the cars. The dealerships wanted them right away. So the likely scenario would be that each car was transported by truck to its final destination. The real reason for there only being 57 cars built instead of the scheduled 70 is due to part shortages. Ford Casting Foundry had a hard time keeping up with the demand, and at the time of the 1966 427 Fairlane build, the 427 medium riser engines for the cars were in short supply. This shortage threatened to end the entire build, as explained in this Ford intra company communication, but they pushed through and ended up shortening the production down to the 57 units. Here is a telegram from Joseph Barra, the sales engineering manager of the Ford Special Order Department, explaining the reason for the reduction of cars built from 70 down to 57. 
This meant 13 of the original orders from dealers had to be canceled. But thankfully, late in 1966, engine shortages subsided, and the 1967 427 Fairlane production schedule started as planned. In 1967, Ford built 256 427 Fairlanes for a total of 313 cars through both years. Without a doubt, these cars have become one of the most desirable, high-performance Fords of the muscle car era.